Hello, it's time to play Pips. Let's start with the easy puzzle, see how it goes. Okay, seven, which will need to be in a single domino, which is actually, there are three possibilities for that right off the bat. That's funny. Um, let's see, the equivalence region. Could it be the double five? We didn't, no, it couldn't be because we need greater than, then we wouldn't be able to make greater than nine. So the equivalence region needs to come from two different dominoes. So it looks like it'll probably be two fives. Um, so one of them will probably go this way, and then the other one will go into the less than five. And then greater than nine needs to be a six. That works there. And then we make the seven with four and three. Okay. So that actually took took a bit of thinking. Sometimes the sometimes the um, easy, you can just kind of slam everything in this. I had to think about it a bit. Uh, let's go on to medium. See how this one goes. Zero. Uh, we've got a ten, which could be two fives or a six and a four. <clears throat> Either one of those is currently plausible. Oh, actually, no, it couldn't be a six and a four because we need a six to go in. And interestingly, the six could also point in either direction. Although, if the six points into the equivalence, do we have enough fives to make the ten? No, we would not. So the six, five actually has to point up into the ten. Um, so that's that. Uh, and then we st so the equal the equivalence region will need to be fours then, I think. Oh no, it could be zeros as well, because we have four zeros. That would leave enough to put... No, we couldn't do that, actually. If we put zeros in the equivalence region, and then another zero in the zero, we couldn't make the three. Um, we would overshoot the three. Um, okay, so the equivalence region is, in fact, fours. That is what it is. And this will need to be the double in order to allow that top area there. So then in the three, we need, let's see, well, the other four can't point down into the three because that would block off part of the grid. So now, no, this doesn't make any, oh no, it does make sense. We put the two into the two, the three into the three region, and then zeros to fix the rest of the the three. Okay, that actually works. And then the zero will be this zero. The 10 will be a double five plus a one. And we finish the 10 up top with a five and the two goes wherever. And there we go. That was the medium puzzle. Great. Let's try the hard one. I hope this is not as open-ended as yesterday. I have to admit, I really prefer it when there is a kind of single logical solution as opposed to, for instance, yesterday. Someone calculated it and said there were hundreds of some three or 400 possible solutions to yesterday, technically. I mean, I assume a lot of those are just one dominoes flipped or something, but um, that was kind of remarkable to me. Okay, so anyway, look at all these sixes. We've got a one region of six, a two region of six, a three region of six, and then a two region of simply greater than six. Okay, um, let's. I'm going to orient my sixes this way so that I can think of them with respect to this top area up here. So, you know, for instance, if we put the six zero in, we then need the zero two going into six. Oh, and the, and this six, the bottom bit of it will have to be entirely self-contained. That's good to keep in mind. Actually, the only things that can go in there are either this six zero, in which case we need another zero up top, which is not possible, or this zero two in which case we need a four pointing up into the equivalence region. Um, no, that's not going to work either. Never mind. I must have done something. I must have, that's a bad conclusion that I've made because this would then need to be a six pointing into the six and we don't have that. Okay. Sorry. What? Oh, sorry. No, the five one. I didn't see that one. Yes. This, this, this can also work. Um, this is what it'll have to be. So the six, the five one goes up there. We then have, yeah. We have zero, two pointing up into the equivalence, and then two, six. Sorry, that's correct. Sorry about that. Um, although, no, this doesn't work either. Oh, no, no. All of my assumptions are wrong. Sorry, this is a disaster. I'm just saying everything wrong. I didn't realize that we can, it didn't occur to me that we could point something in here. Right. Okay, that, that, that throws all of my assumptions into question. Sorry about this. I said I like when there's a logical solve, and then I'm just sitting here making blatantly erroneous assumptions not assumptions i'm just misinterpreting it's it's not so much an assumption as a 
failure to notice things. Okay, so everything I've said is basically useless. Let's go back to thinking of this equivalence region then. So the six, if the six points into the five, for instance, we could have a five, one. I mean, that seems plausible to me. This equivalence down here is going to be broken up. It's not going to be a single domino. Um, what could it be? It could be twos or sixes. We can't put, well, no, we could put a six in the six region if we had the zero coming out of it, for instance. Then we'd need, but I don't think that's going to work. No, that wouldn't work, at least not with this current arrangement. Let's see if it is possible to do that. It would have to be this. Um, no, I... No, I still don't think there's actually a way to make that work. The only way to make that work would be with a, with a four and a zero. The four and the zero are both connected to sixes, which would mean we'd need to use, well, no, that wouldn't work because that would require the equivalence region to have another six. And then that would, we wouldn't, we'd no longer have enough sixes to make the one up there. Yeah, that wouldn't, because we need, yeah, so that, that actually doesn't work. I don't, I don't really know if that tells me much. It just tells me that we can't put a six half into this six region. That's not a huge deduction, but I think it's, I think that is actually true. Um, what can we do though? We could do we can't make this, well, no, I was going to say we can't make it out of one and five, but no, we can't actually, because if we make it out of one and five, we'd either need a one there or a five there. Neither of those works in terms of the, the big three region, or we'd need, no, yeah, no, we can't. We can't make that six out of a one, five. It's not possible. So I think that means it needs to be a two, four. Could it go this way? This seems hard to do because we need two zeros. Actually, maybe this will work. No, it won't. I think I tried this already. Yeah, we need another zero. Yeah, we need a double six up there. It could be this way though, because the two six could go here and then we'd need, oh, maybe this works. Zero, six, no, it doesn't. No, maybe it does. No, it doesn't because we, we haven't. Yeah, no, it doesn't because we need to make the six there out of a two, four, which we no longer have. So what does that tell me? Does it tell me we need a two here? And the four here? No, this doesn't work. This doesn't work either. And this I just tried, didn't I? This is why I hate just like trying things and putting them in. I bet I'll learn I didn't even have to and I could have solved this logically the whole time, but I'm failing at the moment to do so. No, this doesn't work. Yeah, this, this I already tried and it doesn't, it doesn't work. Okay. And I, tr and I, two, four this way. I think I tried this as well, didn't I? This would then need to be a five, one, which doesn't work. What about this? No, that doesn't work either. Okay, maybe this maybe this six does need to be self-contained, and we do put a double into the six down there. So 
Sorry about this. I'm I'm really not doing well the last couple of days, that's for sure. No, this absolutely does. Oh well. No, this this definitely doesn't work. Yeah, the problem with doing it this way is that we then have no, this is never going to work because then the equivalence region down there can't be built because we don't have any double dominoes. Right. I figured that out ages ago. Sorry. Sorry. Um, what a catastrophe Pips has been for me recently. Maybe I should be thinking about this one down here. Maybe that's how I should try and be solving this. The problem is that greater than six doesn't feel very useful to me. Okay. There can't be very many possibilities I have not tried yet. What am I doing wrong here? Have I looked at this? No, that doesn't, that immediately breaks. This doesn't work because we can't make five out of the remainder. That simply doesn't work. I'll try these in order. This doesn't work because we don't have a one. This, I think, have I tried this one? We, no, this, well, we, we then would have to make the six out of four and two. No, we could maybe do five and one, actually. The one would have to point in. No, but that, that immediately breaks as well, because then either way the one, either way this points in, we would have to use that other five elsewhere. So that, that doesn't work. I don't think this works, because we can't make four out of the rest. No. So those two don't work. I'm doing these in order now. This doesn't work because we need two zeros. That's immediately impossible. This um, would have to be two, four, which I don't think works either because of this double equivalence thing that we have going on. Or five, one, which we could in theory do this way, but no, again, that breaks because of the double equivalence region. Yeah. Or six, zero. Did I try that one already? Six, five, five, six. No, I don't think this works either. This way. No, that doesn't work either. I don't think this works either. Five, six would have to be a one and a zero. No, this doesn't, this doesn't work either because we don't have another five. This way again would have to be two zeros. Now oh, this might work. Two and then six. And then zero and six, then five and one, then six and four. This does work. Okay, that was horrific. That was an awful solve. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I guess the thing that was the key that I just didn't start thinking about properly was one, the way that this arrangement needs to be. In other words, this this six region here needs to have the domino pointing out, which I did eventually realize after some incorrect early assumptions. And then the other thing that's important about it is that the two things that point out of it themselves both point into equivalence regions. And I just didn't really have a way to think about that and keep it all in my head. So I ended up just sort of trying things bit by bit. Not a great solve. Sorry about that. Those were the pips. Back tomorrow. Bye for now.